Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Tanish again here to explain you more about the spreadsheets extension. Okay. In the first video, I have shown you how you can create an account on cloud seats and how you can create our API key of your spreadsheet. Okay. So on that video, I show you how to submit a request for the API key. And today I got my API key here. So let's copy this API key first and paste it here. In this extension, you just uh, get these two uh, boxes here, just first for the API key and second for the sheet name. So and now let's uh, see what's in the spreadsheet. Here I've created some tags. So let me first clear you that the row one will always be your tags like id is the required thing which will be there in the first row first column is the id okay now rest of these tags can be um according to your need like i just need name password phone and email and you can see in c2 i have the id name and email now you just see that the tags are in lowercase and here tags are in upper and lowercase it doesn't matter there should uh, the tags should be proper but the cases are not matter like it is in upper or lower case it doesn't matter okay the tags must be same i will explain it uh, later in this video so in one sheet you can create as many sheets as you want here i have created two you can create more so let's just sheet name is sheet one so let's uh, name it as sheet one also i have connected the live test of my device so you can see the live preview what i am doing here okay so let's back into the blocks i have not created any input text boxes um just i want to show you the logic behind this extension okay how it works so i will just use the fast forward method so first thing as you can see in this spreadsheet there are uh, some components they are all for read and write data in your spreadsheet so the first we are going to do is upload data okay so just put it down there now let's that take the id as it is sheet one there is no id so let's make an id as one two three four and data so this is fast forward method so i'm not using any text boxes but you can use text boxes here now we have to pass values for these tags also okay but it should be in a sequence like if the first if the second tag is name then it should be name not uh, the password it will uh, cause an error in your spreadsheet like it will upload the data of password in name and name to something else okay so you must pass it in a sequence like first id name password phone and email whatever you have must be in a sequence okay hope you understand that now the first id we have done now we have the name name look we i'm writing here in lowercase it doesn't matter so name is tanish now to uh, to switch to the next tag which is our password that is pass we have to use exclamation instead of and okay so use exclamation pass is equals to 102030 now for next tag which is my um phone is equals to one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and then the last one is email equals sample zero one at the rate example dot com now we you have to use this event dispatcher which is got response so i'm going to make the text here like i've just taken a label okay and nothing else just to show the output so it is response code so response code is going down here and another one is response content so the response content now if you hover here it will show you a list of response codes and what does it mean like 101 is id already exists 102 is value added successfully and something like that okay so let's open the live test example here so let's click on submit 102 value added successfully as you can see in seat one the value is added successfully now i want to do a second input just to show you an example so first in the id 
to be one two three five and now what if i don't want to upload the phone but i want to upload the email like you just you can't skip the tag phone so what you have to do is just go to the phone and blank that the value is blank and sample let's make it sample two and name as raz also change the password as apple okay now let's come back here in a split sheet i want to show you something live when you click submit it will just upload the data as you can see here the data is uploaded but the phone cell is blank because we haven't passed any value there but we have to pass a tag now another example is what if i pass a wrong tag here like make it as six now what if i in password i just name make it as full name password okay and phone in phone let's one one two two three three four four five five and email as three okay so let's come back here and hit the submit button again so as you can see here it uploaded data as null because the tag was not same so you must make sure that you're passing the same tag uh, through this extension to upload the data on your spreadsheet okay now another example is to upload data on sheet 2 so for that there is in sheet 2 we just have three columns id name and email so here is name is equals to raz and email is equals to sample zero one example dot com okay now for sheet changing a sheet name we can do that right from here sheet name is sheet two okay so we are in sheet two right now let's click on submit button uh submit as you can see it uploaded the data in our sheet 2 and messages value added successfully not on sheet 1 you can see here now let's come back to our sheet 1 and now i want to update this data like the password was null so i want to update this so we can use this update column block and id you know one two three six is the id now what's the data data is going to be one zero three zero and column name is pass okay when you hit submit it is value updated successfully as you can see here the password is updated right <sighs> so we are done with the update column oh sorry update column uh, block yeah so another thing is validate id it just uh, validate if the id is this these are like these three are the ids so if the id is there in a spreadsheet or not it just return that like if we check one two three six as you can see here one two three six all is there in the spreadsheet and when you hit the button submit it's so one zero one id already exists as you can see the id is yeah id is already there now what if i change the value to eight as you can see the 8 is not in this spreadsheet so if i click submit again you say id not found okay so this is just to validate the id is there or not and the last component of today's video is delete data so whatever id you give to this like i want to delete the this one the second okay so just paste the id over here let's come back to our spreadsheet and submit as you can see value deleted successfully so for today today's video um i just explained these four components of the spreadsheet extension in next video i will show you the rest component the rest components are get column list get raw data and read all data so these are the components which get values from the spreadsheet and these are the components which upload or check the value on a spreadsheet okay 
hope you understand all these components clearly and if you have any query or doubt you can ask me in the comments below or you can contact me on whatsapp the number is given in the description all the important links and informations are available in the description below thanks for watching and keep supporting city tricks